Perfect. today and um go we'll check out a few stores and see what we come across i mean it's probably nothing but why is dhl in front of fight club bro what does this mean leaders to go drop off really quick here at the women's section uh at nike the grove uh, nothing really new besides these right here. First time seeing this Jordan 38 low in hand. Color combination is not bad. 185 on the retail for these. Let me know what you guys think. Still have Neapolitans here. Good size run available. Jordan 2 Pythons. Different kind of a Merrill 5 right here that I think is pretty interesting too. I like the color combination and there's like some different material. 160 on these as opposed to 150. Let me know if this is something that you guys are interested in. Not too long ago, we saw these in a dunk form. Give her the roses. I think that's what this theme is called right here. Air Max 90 Futura with the pin back there. Pretty clean on these. Let me know what you guys think. Air Max SC with the uh, new book around the mudguard. Pretty clean on this colorway for the women. Newer colorway out of Sabrina 1. They also got the uh, one that represents her school of Oregon. Shout out to the Oregon Ducks. Definitely clean color combination on these for sure. Retail still 130, and they also have the Brooklyn Finest colorway as well. This selection of uh, basketball shoes for the women, and then this is like so far one of the best colorways of the Nike GT Hustle 2 women's exclusive. Pretty dope. Versala, this is definitely a different type of shoe right here. Retail is 140. Definitely is not a bad look. Definitely also gives off a futuristic feel too. Give me your thoughts about these. Got some dunks here for the smaller sizes for the women. We'll have these here too, but this is on the return side. I don't know how many sizes they have left of this colorway. Then of course the panda with the sail mid. So there's those dunks once again with the rose on the back. Definitely a clean color way. Like the materials too, 115 on the retail. New type of Nike boot that retails for 165 for the women. Got some pretty good leather quality on the upper. They got them in black as well. Nike TC7900, definitely a different type of looking shoe. Everything is definitely looking more futuristic. Retail on these is 120 bucks. And they also have it in this colorway for the women as well, with some dunks in the background. Like this color combination on the 312 Legacy, pretty solid right here. And they still only have these over here till grade school sizing, only grade school sizing on this side. But you guys know. Second floor, Nike the Grove. Let's go ahead and see what they got here. Let's go ahead and see what's up. Dope retro selection here, as you guys can see. Some of the same things that we've seen other places, nothing really new here. Fives, Lucas, ones, thirteens, GT Cut threes, and hustles. They do got something new actually, maybe two different shoes. First time seeing a Nike GT Cut three in this hurricane colorway, 190 on the retail. Translucent also, definitely a fire shoe, really good basketball shoe. I definitely recommend going down to half a size after trying this one on before. But these are definitely clean, let me know what you guys think. Then we got these, which represent that Jason Kidd classic shoe. One of the better colorways of the GT Cut 3 for sure. And they do have other renditions that are based off of this same vibe. You guys can see the difference between the two of them. These are actually uh, yeah, the All-Star Weekend. I wonder if it's going to be like, I've seen other colorways, so I don't know if they're going to actually release though. But uh, both of them are pretty dope regardless. Then we got the GT Hustle in that Hurricane colorway too. Definitely solid 170 on the retail for these. Let me know what you guys think about these, of course. All-Star Weekend colorway of the uh, more up-tempo vibe on this Nike GT Hustle 2, 180 on these. Newer yellow colorway, like almost a canary yellow colorway, 170 on the retail for these. I've talked about this Nike GT Jump 2 a few times, this All-Star Weekend colorway. Don't recall if we got these on camera before. It's the All-Star Weekend colorway, definitely a vibe. I like what they did with the All-Star Weekend releases when it came to these three shoes right here. Paying homage to the 90s basketball shoe, which was really dope. And then we got this other one that fits the theme of that shoe, which is the Nike GT Jump 2 Hurricane colorway. Not bad, goes in the pack with these right here. 
cannot go wrong with this colorway either. One, uh, what's that, 180 on the retail. But I do truly think this colorway is fire on that, man. Let me know what you guys think about this selection here when it comes to the uh, basketball shoes. Bunch of LeBrons that we've seen, oblong pearls, actually not oblong pearls, Queen's couch. Then we got the Aragonite colorway with that denim material. You don't see these at many locations, man. I found them at one WSS. Haven't really seen them in store too much. LeBron, uh oh. They did, of course, make room for the Booker one to be here. I mean, how could they not? Ja one Chinese New Year, KD16 All-Star, along with the Slim Reaper colorway, definitely one of the better KD16s for sure. 3M on the laces and around the uh, the shoe as well. Then we have the shoe that we've definitely seen a few times, the Zoom Freak 5 All-Star Weekend colorway. One shoe's red and white, one shoe's white and red. These are pretty clean, and they also have the uh, Nike... Giannis and Mortality 3 All-Star Weekend Colorway 2 as well. KD16 Boardroom, which is a shoe that we've seen plenty of times. And a few other locations, most of, most of the time they're always on sale. This Boardroom Colorway is not bad, uh, but it's better to catch it on sale for sure. Let me know what you guys think about these. Nike Jaw 1 Bite, very solid colorway. Definitely recommended for a lace swap on these. And of course, this is the shoe LeBron scored 40K in. LeBron 21 algae. The LeBron merch here for him cracking 40K also. Pretty dope hoodie right here. Don't know how much it's going for though. Uh, 70 bucks, so that's not bad considering I thought that would be like $150 or something. Got the shorts right here. Brown colorway, pretty clean. Uh, $60 on these for sure. Definitely not bad with the zippers on the side too. They got the hoodie here. Uh, the hoodie goes for $100. I do like the graphic on the back. I'm always asking for a dope graphic on the back. This is pretty dope too. Got the patch in the corner, 100 on the hoodie for sure. And they also got these shorts in a different colorway too with the pinstripes. Definitely pretty interesting on these. I like that. You got it in gray. You guys can see it on the mannequin here. Some shorts in pink. Got the cream colorway too. I like this merch right here, pretty solid. Let me know what you guys think. Soccer or actually tennis tee, tennis merch right here. I like the colorway on this shirt, I think that's pretty fire. Some of this stuff really does stand out over here. Let me know what you guys are thinking. We're gonna go ahead and check out the running shoes and see what they got going on over there. Different colorway of the Pegasus 40 here. Different type of floral print, I believe that's what that is. Maybe, maybe not. 140 on a retail. Nike Zoom X Invincible Run Flying at three in this color tone is pretty fire. Let me know if you guys are a fan of these. Got a lot of things coming out in this colorway, like an earthy vibe, pretty solid. Nike React Wild Horse 8, 140 on a retail. This color combination is definitely not bad on these. Pretty solid selection of running or trail shoes. Actually a really nice selection with some good colorways. Then we got some golf shoes over here, which are pretty popular. First, we got the navy blue, white, and red colorway on the Jordan 1 Low OG golf shoe, 150 on the retail. These are actually pretty fire. I like the color combination, and of course, you know, OG Low, the cut is pretty dope. I think people will still get these and wear these for regular because it's not like spiky. I don't know, man. These are pretty clean. Two more Jordan 1 Lows right here, which are definitely pretty solid, but these right here are clean. Jordan 9 Low, definitely fire, man. Let me know what you guys think about these in the comments below. Styling right here, 230 on the retail for these. Now I've seen these online before. The Air Pegasus 89 Golf NRG, 140 on the retail for these. But this colorway is just crazy, bro. I'm a fan of this shoe. I think it's dope, translucent also. These will definitely stand out on anything, a golf course or regular, or if you wore them casually. Definitely a fan of these. Entering the first floor at Negative Grove. Let's go ahead and see what we can find inside here. A lot of running shoes and casual shoes. Selection here is pretty solid. Nothing that we have not seen just yet though, unfortunately. Everything is something that we have checked out before. Pretty good selection though, overall. Like these men's are pretty solid, not bad. So we definitely seen those dunks before, right behind it with the waffle. Now they got the blazers with the same type of theme going on here. For some reason, this Presto just kind of reminds me of the off-white Prestos. Nike Terminator High in this white and mocha brown colorway. We got these on deck too. The Mac Attacks, one of the OG colorways, 120 on the retail. 
different colorway on the Hirachi Runner Low 140 on the retail, or Nike Hirachi Runner, that's what these are called. Also a new colorway on these shoes right here. Definitely solid, not bad. I swear I got my pair of Racer Blue P6000s. Triple Black Vermeer 5s. Solid colorway and the makeup of the shoe is fire. You got new buck, suede, and leather here. Pretty fire combination of materials and colorway. 125 on these Air Force Ones. Let me know what you guys think about these. They got some returns here still. We've seen these plenty of times return. Other Vermeros. We got the Dunk. Lowe's, white and red. I don't know which color the way they're gonna call that one. And then they got these Vermeros right here too. Pretty solid return selection here, kind of small. Just like that, man. I sent some pictures out in my Discord and on my Instagram story, and I had a couple people hit me up, so I will be scooping up one of these for a supporter, man, which is really dope. I do have my membership, like I said before. If you guys need help finding shoes that you don't see in your area, I'm about to scoop these up right now. Colorway on this Air Max Plus is just different. The materials, the detailing, these are actually really nice, man. One in 10 scale, these are solid nine for sure, bro. Those are crazy. Got some 3M only on the uh, tongue area, but this shoe is crazy, bro. Let me know if you guys are feeling this or am I tripping? I think these are hard though. Hoodie right here is actually pretty dope. The gray, navy, blue, and orange combination. They also have that same kind of colorway on this hoodie right here too. Pretty solid. Merchandise is always on point here at this Nike The Grove as well. A lot of shirts over there in the cut too. Our final styles on clothing too. So these are returned items that they have here marked down. So these are all up under the suggested retail price. So I'm pretty sure at some point there will be some bangers here too. It just says below suggested retail. It doesn't have the actual retail tag on it. But if you guys did not know, which I wasn't really familiar with, at least not in this store, but they have a return clothing section for final styles, which are all returns that you can scoop up for a little cheaper. Or sometimes it's always, it's still retail. It's like, yes and no sometimes. But these are pretty clean right here. As soon as you walk in here at Melrose, they do have some sizes left for the Jordan 4 Metallics, bro. Definitely clean. Some of the must have still available. What is this, a men's size? 160, so these are graceful sizing of these. Definitely clean shoe, though. This location still has some of these on deck. The Midnight Navy is pretty clean. You definitely don't see this Jordan 1 low around too often. Still for retail at 110 bucks. Really? First time seeing these on sale in store, only 89 bucks on these, which is dope. The Ochre Jordan 1 Lowe's, normally 115 down to 89 bucks. They're getting with the program and putting riches on sale, 139 on the Moths, 139 on the Royal Reimagine, 149 on the Chamray 7s. These are actually still uh, first location that I've seen have these Wheat 13s on sale, 149 on a retail form. Good to see these finally marked down. Definitely a clean colorway on this dunk low. We always talk about these for sure. Yet another location I got these on deck. The Puma Scoop 1 Northern Lights. Definitely a fire color combination. Two of the best recent Puma releases for real. That's why I got these on deck too. 189 as opposed to 210 or 200 on these normally, right? Yeah, 200 normally for the Kyle and LeBron 21. First place I've seen have them on sale. Definitely clean on these jaw Morant shorts, navy blue ones. I'm a fan of the navy blue ones. They also have the matching sweater to match. Yeah. No. A bunch of things on the low right here. Sabrina ones, 110, got them for 89 as well. 149 on these red box. I didn't know that. They got sizes left here too, so 149, 79. For sure, we'll do. Definitely clean selection here, 169 on the Vapor Max Plus. This table overall is definitely solid. I know what you guys think about these. We talked about them. Definitely not a bad colorway on the Air Max Plus. White and green also. White and pink, actually. Their Jordan selection for the women is definitely on point here, too. And they do have some things marked down. Got these here for 120. Suede XL for the women out there. Almost reminds me of a couple other, kind of looks like a campus if you don't, you know what I'm saying? 85 on a retail. 
same things that we can expect to see here at Shoe Palace. Haven't seen anything that really stood out, but I had to come by and check. Still have plenty of sizes left for this Dornbecker collab. Yeah, this color combination on this 90 or 1906R is pretty solid. It is part of a pack. Mustard orange, Romero's. All the locations that we came across before that had these on deck. Looking for these in size 10, couldn't find them just yet. Jordan Mids down at $79. 79 on 02, marked down to 110. Great school selection here, definitely on point, like always at the Shoe Palace. They even have Olive Force there. Great school side over here, still continue with some good stuff. Men stuff, of course, this is all things that we have seen before. Retro selection here with some red tags, definitely a lot of things that we have seen marked down. And they do have even some Olive Force up there. Men's size is still here too, which is crazy to see that. 120 for both of these, or 120 each. Jordan for Olive Craft. Definitely a clean Jordan for size 10 in hand. Got these on deck too. LeBron's. And they still have pairs of the Foam Posit Triple Black colorway. Still has these left in grade school. Definitely clean though. Jordan 1 Low Cement. Grade school size. Seven in hand, 120. And they got these on deck too, size four in hand though for their reimagined breads. As I wore mine once again, man, you guys can tell I do like mine. Puma suede here. This is dope colorway right here. It's $39 on the retail. So many different colorways in the 90s, 60s. These ones are not too bad. And then those are, look like they're more for girls, but they're on the men's side. Long hair suede. Solid New Balance selection here at Shoe Palace. Not quite sure if I've seen these before. These are definitely clean too. Give me your thoughts about these in the comments below. Pretty solid too. I think we've seen this colorway, but then I feel like we haven't. Let me know if you guys are a fan of these or not. Here at Ross, definitely came across some bangers right here. $12.99 for 75 bucks on these Michael Jordan. Look like bowling jackets for the Fight Club, I guess. Pretty good day of relaxation during the summertime, spring, which is what we're headed to. Got a bunch of things here from Ross, Crocs and Slides. Now let's go ahead and get in this line and pay for everything, but it is what it is.